What's a sustenance crossbow? Oh. So it shoots hot dogs or it is a hot dog? Uh, oh, okay. So how would it kill somebody? Wouldn't it just be shooting food into their mouth? So, like, chucking a frozen human limb at another person. Yeah. But you're made of hot dog. You don't, there's no bones in it. So, just us the flesh, then. There's no bones. There's no bones for anybody. No one's got bones. None of these guys have bones. Despite what happens when you, uh, crack this. Can you eat them? No. Oh. And what's the point of it? There are edible hot dogs, because there are places where there are edible hot dogs, but they're small. These are sentient hot dog creatures. <laughs> they're sentient, and yet you're shooting them with harder, miniature versions of them? Yeah. Interesting. Logic no, police. Sucks. And it makes no sense. Something about genetic experiments or something. Why would never mind. Of course people would genetically experiment on hot dogs. Well no, the guy was trying to make super soldiers, but he's afraid of himself. Super soldier hot dogs. Yeah. Why I don't know why he thought that would work. Hot dogs don't have arms. How are they supposed to hold weapons? They're just. Oh, let me show you. Oh my god, you're telling me they can hold weapons? Yeah. Saucy guns. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I hate the way they move. Oh, it's so weird. This is like sausage party, but fucked up more. Wait, again. Another question. How would they see? Hot dogs don't have eyes. They've developed eyes through their... I don't know how hot dogs work. Never mind. They can see with their special eyes. As far as we can tell, they just are able to see it. Because, you know, when you crack one open, it's just hot dogs. <gasps> I don't know. Who came up with this game? Someone that can't model humans. <laughs> That's a fair point. I mean, his name is Anton. He does sound like the kind of fucking. That does sound like a person who can't model, model humans. Like an animal or something. It's like, it's like they're easy, man. I mean, I don't know if I'd want to play a game about cats wielding guns. Better than hot dogs. But at least you can't feel bad for a hot dog. You can feel bad if you shoot a cat with a grenade. Give them silly cartoonish designs. That doesn't make it any better, that just makes them cute! You can make a derpy cat. Who doesn't love a good derpy cat? I feel like a game about murdering warrior cats would be like, age restricted.
You get the oh, did you crash or? Oh. Hi. Oh, y'all watch Cars, right? You, well, you remember that one scene where about, like, the, the three cars surrounded the, the truck? A movie, like, just about those characters would be awesome, I feel like. There can never be enough car movies. Oh, I'm doing like great. Cars? Yeah, Cars, as in, like, Lightning McQueen. Uh, uh. What do you mean? I hate cars. I rather want a big pig in the city or something. First you hate hot dogs, then you hate cars. You hate cats? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> My fucking rat I'm sculpting has some thick ass legs. All your rats are thick. These are thicker, have nips. I'll show you my skin. <laughs> oh boy, that's a thick boy. Glasses on. See, I wasn't either, but then I was like, Mom, I can't see. And she was like, Let's go get you glasses. And now I need them. Get contacts. I can't stick my finger in my eye. I couldn't too when I first started them. You get used to it. <laughs> now I'm so used to touching my eyeball, I can just like rub it. Ew. I didn't need to know that. It, uh. it makes me think of like one of those movies where the person like fake eyeball pops out and they have to pop it back in there. <laughs> Wait, aren't you worried about like you know, like sticking your finger in your eye and then it getting infected? It's not gonna get infected if you wash your hands. Okay, fair point. I just. Keep it clean, that's how the doctors tell you to. Do you have to get prescribed contacts, or is it just like a thing you do? And go to your optometrist and then tell them you want you for it. Uh, I have to go back, because um, the hinges on my get glasses are pair. fucked. Just try it out, get one pair to practice, and just try to put it in, and you will get used to it eventually. It, is, it really is not as bad as you think. The freaking eye doctors hate me, like, because when I have to go get eye drops, they have to literally pry my eyes open with a freaking whatever they're called. Jaws of Lifestyle. Because I, I flinch. I'm, I'm a pussy ass bitch. I flinch a lot. And even though I try to keep my eye open, my eyes are like, no, no. Okay, after I go to get new glasses, I'll ask, but I, I can't promise you that it'll it'll go anywhere. Yeah, I'll teach you my method. It's just like, I don't put it on my pupil because that's the more um, sensitive part. I uh, try to just stick it on the white part of your eye because it's not really sensitive. It's not the part that you see it or anything. You wouldn't see it coming. You just hold your eye open, stick it on the white part, and then it just slides in place. You know, it's, I thought you saw out of your pupils. Oh my god. You know, the, the, the 
the black part. Yeah. Oh. oh. Well, that's not that count as a pupil, or at least part of it. No, no. Uh, the white part is uh, the, the cornea, I think. I'm not in, I don't know. It's like my kind of shit that I study. I'd love to, like, I, I would love to get, like, cosplay context one day, but yeah, that's an, another thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, uh, what was I wanted? Like, uh, this one character, currently she has, like, a clock eye, so it'd be more like a full eye contact thing, but even if I, like, I st even if it wasn't in cosplay, I feel like it'd still be cool to have. Like, look at my clock content. Yeah, and you can wear like two different color contacts and like pretend that you have two different color eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have heterochromia? Yeah, totally. Yeah, man, totally. T definitely, dude. That's a desert eagle, right? It's an M MIT, bitch. MIT, bitch. MIT, bitch. Oh, no rails! Shit! I don't got any rails for it! God damn it! Oh, am I stupid? I got a fucking rip. I got something that needs an attack. Does this count as a furry? The rat? Yeah, uh, yeah, I guess it would. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it's perfect. Well, mm. Yeah, hmm. This isn't for me, though. This is for a client. But... Does that mean if you like courage the cowardly dog, you're a furry? I like courage. I like courage, too. What do you still like about it? Um, the uniqueness and like the how. If you like the fact that he looks like a dog, but is it but he walks on two legs, then you're a furry. Uh, well, no, I like the fact that he like his expressions are so unique. You're like the first time you watch Courage, it's like what the fuck? Oh my god, I didn't expect him to do that. And the plot isn't predictable like any other fucking show. Like every other. I, need, I still need to check out the uh, Scooby Doo and Courage, whatever. Is that out or anything? Uh, I don't think so, but I know that there's something about it. I don't know, I'm not the one who uh, originally learned about it. I just heard about it in this server. It's always a shame when your favorite voice actor passes, because like, you can never replace them. Uh, yeah, like, uh, I don't know if y'all like Rugrats, but the, uh, new CGI on, uh, Paramount. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they replaced all the, uh, parents because, uh, they were, I don't know if the VAs were too old to come back or didn't want to come back. Close one eye. Doesn't help. <laughs> like, it's just everything's blurry. I don't know if it's like, like, like this, my resolution. Why is it all blurry? I think the resolution of my screen's gone bad. Oh my god, Tom, shut up! No, fuck off! He wants a glass of water. Why can't he get it? I don't know! <laughs> My least favorite part of the day is like when you wake up and your eyes aren't awake yet. Or is that just a me thing? It might just be a me thing. <laughs> Maybe I'm just like legally blind in the morning. Like I swear, like as much as I rub my eye, it don't go away. Actually, stop. 
Why? I don't care. Why? <laughs> Meta's getting pissed. for me my mom's asleep at this time goes to bed at what seven <sighs> yo again you know what really fucking sucks it's like when something important's coming up like <laughs> like uh for me currently summer school and my mom's like you got summer school tomorrow you can't be staying up so late and i'm like Yes, I know, you've told me this ten times in the past three days. She's hoping one of these times it'll be true if you'll listen. I... I don't need to listen, because I already know. And then do something about it. And what am I supposed to do? Don't stay up so late. <sighs> Why do you gotta go to summer school? What did you flunk? Oh um, no, I didn't even flunk, I just failed three classes. Mm. Only because my teachers are a bunch of unorganized fucks and don't understand how to use a computer. Like, how am I supposed to do my work if you don't even know where your fucking work is? Fireworks are a new thing, anyways, right? Ah! Oh, so it's back. I return. It took a while. I took a few spills. You fell? I fell. Ha 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 like, oh, like, you were riding a bike? Mm-hmm. You fell? Like, really? Huh? Not because I, not because I, like, lost my balance, like, when I, like, going normally. I was, like, I was, like, uh... Shh. I can fail three I subjects because three subjects suck, okay? I approached a curb at the wrong angle to get away from a thing. Mm -hmm. And it, uh, didn't go well for me. Jeez, I basically, did you get hurt? Only a little bit. Did he get oh, no, a... Did he disinfect? Oh, no, I'm fine. <sighs> Me alone. Oh, no, look at this shit. Look how small that magazine is. Fuck. Look at that. Look how tiny it is. How many bolts does that hold? I think I'm hearing some fireworks. Yeah, it's probably from Great. me. How many bolts does this magazine hold? I can't see them because my blinds are down, but I know they're there because oh, I can hear them. God. Shut it! What do you mean playing half blind? He still can't see. I don't know what has happened, but the resolution of my screen is like fucked. Like, what so did I, you do? I don't know, it's just... Blurry as hell. I don't remember it being this blurry. So like when Maybe. I look, like like when I sit, like when I look down the sights like this, it's just blur. I can't see shit. It's just a bunch of like blurry pixels. Maybe your eyes are going bad. That's that's what they say. Maybe you're just old. Meta Meta finally needs go. <laughs> you know, I think it might be the pad, my, 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 my pad, the, uh, the pad that's around my that like my face sits on. Mm-hmm. You think it's blocking? No, 
I mean, I, I, my old pad's worn out, and I had to stick this new one on, and it's... What the fuck? Stop getting... Because if I, if I, like, move my, my... If I move my... If I move the headset a bit farther away, like, I can aim better, like, so... Like this thing. Maybe it's just... It could be your headset. Wait, what the fuck? It's literally just the right screen. The right screen is absolutely blurry. And you know what? The right screen is the one I aim with. So, fuck. Was it just me who murdered my stuffed animals as a kid? Probably. Oh. Ah, the look of horror on my mom's face as she came in and saw me with scissors stabbing at my teddy bear. Why did you do that? <laughs> I don't know, I didn't like the head on one, so I was gonna swap the head to the other one. Although I didn't know what to sew, so I guess I was just gonna tape it or something. What, who did I murder that day? Uh, parrot, teddy bear, skunk. Uh, no, no, the skunk survived. I remember the skunk survived. Oh, this laser sight helps infinitely, dude. Laser sights are great. <sighs> Hell yeah. Okay, wait. I know you don't like cars, but how did you feel about planes? planes? Yeah. It was like cars, except, you know, planes, and the premise of the story was this crop duster one become a. It's literally the same thing as cars, I No! Tell me how it's different. Tell me exactly how it's different. The only thing that's different is the plot and the characters. What's different about the plot and the characters? I was just saying. Oh, isn't Lightning McQueen already a fucking race car? Yes. So okay. He never it's was in a race car. car. It's about race cars. It's about race planes. It's about a crop duster one become a race plane, but he wasn't fast enough because he wasn't built for racing. And you know what? It's and you know what? You know what cars is about? It's about a race car becoming a normal car, but he's getting not used to it because he's a racing car. It's just right. the inverse. That's not what cars was about. <laughs> Yes, that's, it is. That's even if it's just the inverse. That's that's not the same show. It goes that's over like the saying, exact same like elements. Man. No, that's the opposite. That's, that's that's like if John Wick wanted to become like a normal. Basically, it's nobody. <laughs> yeah, and nobody and John. Wick, yeah, one is just the same. They're basically the same film. Except one is worse. This is nobody is cars. <laughs> I don't remember the plot of cars. Zero's zero to sixty-five, and I'm about to find the fuck out. <laughs> I know Cars Three was I'm like planes, cause it up. it was about a. Uh... I'ma fuck you up. Oh, yeah. Traitor. Come on, car. Jimmy, don't be playing that stuff so loud. Fucked up. I'm gonna fuck you. Ugh. <laughs> yeah. The Queen's <laughs> whatever the fuck that was. Shazam. <laughs> Guys, look, a big I, lightning strike. <laughs> Ka-chow. That, I definitely knew that. That's what it was. Ka-chow. Ka-chow. <laughs> oh, I think that, like, that era of cars inspired something in my school. Because I remember there was, like, this fucking talking school bus. No, it wasn't a school bus. It was a fire truck. Yeah, they brought it to my kindergarten, and that's the only thing I remember about it. Talking, talking vehicles has been a thing since fucking Tom was the tank, and maybe earlier. Yeah, that, that's fair. 
I only remember two things is that it was the talking vehicle and a stupid gingerbread hunt that was like, oh, the gingerbread's over here. Just kidding. It was in the homeroom the entire time. I'll be right back. He turned off his hot dogs. He turned off his hot dogs. That says. Poor man, he lost his hot dogs. All right, I'm gonna get myself uh, something to some drink while I uh, play night delivery. Okay. 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 Hi, I'm Ness. <laughs> Ogie. I thought okay. that's what you said! No. <laughs> Is it just me, or did like anyone else have that one kid in school who had the loudest fucking sneeze? That's everywhere, that's even everywhere. <laughs> that one fucking kid in the back just sneezing like a fucking plane fell out of the sky. Oh boy, can one of you drive over here and pick me up so I don't have to go to summer school? No. Summer school sucks though, it's just like... Yeah, exactly! It's like... Bootleg teaching, like they, they barely teach you to teach you to sit around. But the thing is, my school is very strict. They take phones at the door, and they scan you. They check bags, and they have a metal detector. Oh man, this is like security guards. <laughs> yes, yes there is! Usually for us, we either sneak our phones in our shoes, or in binders, like tuck between stuff. I would sneak it in like a coffee. Hmm. Hmm, that's fair, but I wouldn't be drinking out of it. Pretend you're drinking from it, you know? <laughs> and then they hear like the, the rattle of the phone inside. I don't know, put, put cotton balls in it. <laughs> wow, queen of sneaking phones in coffee cups. So far, the shoe has worked for me. Like, well, not so far. I mean, like, back when school was actually a thing. Because they don't, like, when they run it over, it's, like, usually on the bottom of my foot. Like, towards the back. So, like, they don't notice. It's not, like, a huge height difference. And when they do the uh, metal scanner thing over my shoes, it doesn't pick it up because there's a foot. And a sock. And a shoe. But, yeah. it's just, I just kind of have to hobble because I'm worried that too much pressure might crack it. Yeah, that's crazy. And the only reason I'm going to those schools is because my mom wants me to learn Spanish. That's the only reason. Because I'm Spanish, I have to learn Spanish. Makes sense. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stream at 1080p. A frame rate of 60. Wow. Hell if I know what I'm streaming at. Oh, I got 30 frames per second. Hmm. Oh, wait, I just remembered I have the greatest thing of all times. Oh, dog. All right, all right, here we go. <laughs> silence, please. No. For all the, uh, for all the pants that were to ruin shitty bricks. Uh, beat the game. Hmm? Beat the game. I'm gonna beat the game. I <sighs> see. I don't. I think it locked up. <laughs> God damn it. What? No, we got it. It's working. Yeah. Oh, 31. Why do you want everyone to play that game? 
Is that the only reason? <laughs> it's spooky. It's, it's spooky, now go play. Yeah, it's fun to watch people, uh, watch people play scary games. <laughs> it's funny to watch people shit their pants in terror. Yeah, 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 yeah! Hell yeah. Are you turning up the brightness? Stop. I can't. Okay, do you want it at 70? Does it need to be at 70? Yes. Okay. Keep it. I didn't change any of that stuff. I always change the brightness because I can't see shit. At least on the natural settings. Extra quality. 100%. I want this game to look amazing. It's gonna be like... Uh, the absolute. Never mind. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. Yeah, man, I shut it. gonna die because he can't run since he has asthma. Imagine being 31. Unfortunately, I think a spider has taken a uh, sanctuary on my lamp. Oh. That's not good. Yes, I know. Oh, Even the spiders like Greyhound. It's really giving me a lot of freedom to just wander, huh? Sorry, every time I look at it, there's like a new little cobweb. I'm not going that way. Did you I grab a box? Really Go back to where you started. You didn't even get yeah, I'm not lost. I just, I just kind of I'm want not gonna to kill it. I don't want to. <laughs> oh, I scared the shit out of me. I thought that was a spider. Oh. <laughs> I don't even know where I'm delivering my shit to. Um, yeah. I should probably check. You didn't grab a box. 
Oh, there's a whole ass web over here. Uh, uh. Oh, hi. I was wondering about the lack of direction. I don't know, that whole area is terrifying. I'm gonna deliver package A. <sighs> I've been doing good. Why do I feel like 206 is a common, like, haunted room? The horror of 206. I'm just gonna use- there's no reason for me to use the elevator. It's gonna be right here. I felt my volume, like, way up. Uh, not much. Hmm. Having a bit of creator's block, actually. Fireworks going nuts. Do you mean refer to as in like name wise or pronoun wise? Maki or Rix is fine. Notice the similarity between the uh, the lamp over there and this person right here? It's because they're the same person. <laughs> oh no, why are you suffering? <laughs> Shitty 4th of July? Oh, oh yeah, I hate. Okay. I mean, I, I think it's like, hmm, fireworks are cool, but I wish they would stop after a certain time period.
it's I don't know how much of is appearing through my mic, but the ones outside are pretty loud right now. But easy to ignore. There should be like a general rule like, hey, no fireworks after 10 because, you know, people are sleeping. Like, I don't understand if people wanted to shoot all the fireworks that they wanted on the 4th, but that doesn't mean that you should shoot them on the 3rd, or the 5th, or the 1st, or the 6th. Like, at some point, you're gonna have to put the fireworks away. Uh... Nothing really, like, nothing special, you know. Stay inside, play video games. Uh, sometimes I go out to see fireworks, but not this year, because... I don't know, fireworks are fireworks, no matter how many times you see them. Plus, for me, it's kind of like an... It's a bit of an inconvenience, because, you know, I have to stay out for so long in the cold, or like, even if I bring a jacket, it's still outside some place where I don't know, in the dark, with bugs and a bunch of other people going, ooh, ah, uh, and getting hungry, and like, going to McDonald's or something, and then worrying about dropping your food on the floor. It's just a whole ordeal. And then, like, because when I used to go out, when I used to go out with friends, um... They used to stay out like hella late, like 1 a.m. And I'm out here like, yo, I'm the oldest here. But these kids want to stay out till like 1 a.m. Yeah, it's an American thing. Oh, that's okay. Hope to see you some other time. Like, for me at least, I could, like, go put on my VR headset, woo, fireworks, in my own house, not outside, at 2 a.m. with a bunch of strangers. With food, downstairs, or right next to me. Uh, uh, so, um, so, this is through a Discord call right now, um, currently in chat it's, uh, Meta, who's the little, little, I don't know, helmet boy, and then Greyhound, who's the person who I designed the lamp after, but there's also a bunch of other people in here, so if it gets too noisy or whatever, I can just, uh, deafen. I'm also a little worried because, uh, Greyhound's girlfriend's in here, and I'm worried they're gonna say some, like, sexual stuff, and I'm gonna be like, oh no, my Twitch! <gasps> oh! I remember that, uh, one year, I went to some sort of fucking lake, I don't remember the name or whatever, but it was the worst 4th of July I ever had, because it was a lake, the bugs were insane, and we weren't even with like friends, like friends of mine, they were some of my mom's friends, and they were annoying, and I didn't like it, it was not fun for me. I think the last couple times I actually went out to see fireworks, it was just at the local McDonald's, which I was talking That's about earlier. Far from my face. Hmm. Oh, 
those are the uh, absolute 4th of July movies. Oh, the best 4th of July I had was at uh, Disney in Florida. But that wasn't really 4th of July. Oh, no, that's just me blinking. <laughs> that's just me blinking. I blink a lot, leave me alone. It tracks my eyebrows too, but you can't really see them because of my bangs. Yeah, like I was saying, the best 4th of July I had was at uh, Disney. But that wasn't 4th of July, that was just their end of the day firework extravaganza. I'm sorry for blinking! I'll just stop! Fuck. <laughs> I'll try, try, try to, to blink less if it's that big of an issue. <laughs> I, you know, I was, I thought like, okay, okay, all right, no, no blink, no blink. I need to moisten my eyes, I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, you know what? Let's step out of here. No more men and no more gay. Just me. Ah! Uh, now you have me all yourselves. Ah, uh, what, what, what a great time. Everyone rejoice. I would win this steering contest. No contest. <laughs> see, that's how I feel whenever I like wave goodbye to somebody when I'm like, you can't see my hands. Why am I waving? Dry eyes. God, we love those. Best, best thing in the world, dry eyes. Sometimes I really hate my eyes, cause yeah, like, I wake up, can't see shit, cause my left eye is all blurry and stuff, and I, I rub it, I rub it, and it, it's just, it's just not working. I gotta wait, like, 20 minutes and ignore being half blind in one eye. What? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> we go rematch, okay? We go rematch. Let's go. Okay, well, that was my best time, probably. <laughs> Woo, champion. <laughs> oh boy, hearing that just made me think, like, how in, like, all those stupid comedy movies, like, somebody gets, like, dirt in their eyes, they're like, ah, my eyes. <laughs> Staring champion, they can't beat me. Oh, undefeated. <laughs> I. Hmm. 
Hmm. What secrets do I want to reveal today? Hmm. Let's see, let's see. Ah, uh, well, that's nearly thinking, but like. One stupid time I ended up like, cause I was playing around in the back from when I was a wee baby. And I was climbing up the side cause it has like one of those like rope things. Like, I don't know how else to explain it. Uh, I got a rope climb, but it had bars, like plastic tubes, like three of them. So it'd be easier to get up than just climbing straight up rope. But I ended up falling and my foot got stuck between like two of them. So there I am, dangling, a little child dangling from their ankle on the playground. And I'm out here like, ah, oh, help, like, I can't get free. And like, nobody noticed me. So I'm like out there for two minutes, dangling from my damn ankle, about to die because all the blood going to my head. And then all of a sudden, I fall and I bonk my head because my playground set up real weird because, like, the, the, the bracket is right below the climb for no reason. So you always step on the like the support before you go up onto the rope. So I fell, bonked my head on the support beam thing. And then I'm here with a hurt ankle and a headache. <laughs> Stumble back inside. I'm like, ah, oh, I just had the worst day. My mom's looking at my ankle like, yo, what happened? I'm like, yo, I just brushed it on my ankle and it hurts. So I got a day off. I get to chill in my room with my leg up like, yeah. Hmm. That's pretty, like, there's not much interesting playground stories that I have. But I did see these two squirrels fighting out there. Like, uh, some Lion King type shit. Like, I'm, I'm king now. Betrayal. Push the other squirrel off. A lot of animals do that. Like, they play pirate ship on the playground. Push each other off. Fight for king of the hill. All that good stuff. Very fun. Oh, well, the playground's gonna have to go sooner or later. Sadly. Cause... Uh... I don't play on it anymore. I just use it for the, uh... Cat... Squirrel entertainment kind of stuff. It's like my own, like, little television show happening out there, but not for much longer. But at least I still have my basketball court. <laughs> Hold on, ma'am. What kind of shots? <laughs> oh, that seems stupid. That 911 call. Can't imagine. Can't imagine what that must be like. I wonder, like, I bet 911 operators get the stupidest kind of calls sometimes. <laughs> Chris, is that a weed? No, it's a cramp. <laughs> I'm calling the police. What is that one show called? Paradise PD. They had a bunch of stupid 911 calls. I remember that. <laughs> we was getting freaky in the shower, and and I can't get the shampoo bottle out. And the guy, and the fucking 911 was operator, like, what? And the shampoo bottle stuck in me. And he, the 911 operator, like, what do I do? And he's like, oh, I, I gotta sneeze. I chew, and then you just hear the bottle fall like in the background. I got an attack to CPL. Calling all free T1 agents. We're holding a T1 agent showcase next season. Scrim plug style with a bunch of free T1 agents coming together to show potential teams what they're capable of. Seems interesting, but I'm not a free T1 agent. Though that does seem cool. 
Although, I don't know what I would do, because that seems more like a tank DPS kind of thing. I don't know. I could probably- uh, nah, I don't know why I'm considering it. Ooh, you know what I'm gonna do later? I'm gonna head straight down the stairs and make myself an ice latte, cause that's what I want right now. Vanilla ice latte. I got one the other day from this really nice coffee street, this coffee shop, cafe place near me, but I ended up forgetting to put it in the fridge and I got dumped when I woke up. I was like, hey, where my coffee at? Mom, like, it was out all night. I dumped it and I'm like, oh, that was the best damn coffee I had in so long. Although, the, the guy who made it did go a little too heavy on caramel, so it was like sugar coma inducing. But with that, minus the caramel overload, it wasn't bad. Mm. I think the best like ice latte I've ever had was from uh, Disney. Again, like nothing could top that. That junk was well, <laughs> the best. Oh, thank you for the follow. Okay, if I could go back to Disney, that would be the only thing I would go for, the ice vanilla, because. <sighs> best. The other best drink I had was, uh, uh, Butterbeer from, uh, Universal Studios. Not bad. A little bit sweet. Not bad. I don't even know how you replicate that. Though I do know they have tons of Butterbeer recipes online. I haven't tried any of them, though, because it all seems so complicated. I mean, maybe that's just me. Maybe, maybe I'll try one one day. Oh, but here's an idea to get hyped for. I did order a bunch of, uh, well not a bunch, a couple of, uh, weird scent things that I found on some, uh, JP website. Thank you for the follow. And I'm very excited to try them out. Like, I think I'll do a stream for it when they come, just, like, smelling them and saying what they smell like. But I also know that I want to try them out on some of my friends, like, hey, you, what's the smell like? And if they guess it right, like, I don't know, pat on the back. High five, something, hug. I just like, they were the kind of scents that you're like, what does this smell like? How, how do you recreate this? Like, <laughs> people are like, I told my friends about buying them and they were like, why would you buy such a thing? Like, that's so weird. And I'm just like, it's like when you hear a new type of soda called like bacon and chocolate soda and you're like, now what does that taste like? Like, I gotta know. So you order it. It's not like, hey, I bet this tastes delicious, or I really want this. It's like, I gotta know what this is. I gotta know if this is good or not. Yeah, okay, what was, the, mm, what was one of the scents I was trying to remember that I don't want to, like, give away what scent it is before I stream it, obviously, but I'm trying to think. Uh... There was one that was like, the scent of a girl's neck, and I'm like, how? Okay, so who, so what person in the, in the production management was like, yes, this is what it smells like. We're gonna market this, okay? Like, does it just smell like perfume? Is it, is it just like, Gucci perfume or something? In a bottle? Like... Who, who is like sniffing some skin and being like, okay, this smell is close enough, but we need to get it exact. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. <laughs> I mean, I, I can't be the only one that thinks that, right? It has to be like, what, what, like, <laughs> who, who did this? What does it smell like? I must know. Maybe I'm just weird like that. But I, um, I have in the past bought, uh, what, what are they called? Uh, mm, welcome back. Uh, Lester's Fixins, that what it was. I saw a YouTuber, like, drink some of them, Jacksepticeye, and 
I was like, yo, I wonder what these taste like. So I ended up getting, as I mentioned earlier, bacon and chocolate soda, and I also got ranch soda. And, oh boy, okay, so don't hate me for this, but bacon and chocolate soda wasn't half bad. It really wasn't that bad. Like, <laughs> it tasted like chocolate, and then like, two seconds later it was like, bacon. Like, it wasn't, it didn't taste like them together, it was chocolate and then bacon. And like, if you burp, it smelled like bacon. Like, <laughs> you could burp it on his face and they'd be like, did you have bacon? <laughs> don't, don't do that. But the ranch, I didn't have the ranch because I took one whiff of that shit and I was like, no. No, I'm not, I'm not drinking this. <laughs> no. It smelled so bad. It doesn't smell like ranch does. Like, to me, ranch smells good. Like, I like ranch. I like it on my salad. I like it with my carrots. That's pretty much it. <laughs> but I would never drink it. That just smelled disgusting. You shouldn't be doing anyone's laundry. That's weird. Well, not any laundry besides your own. But I don't do my own laundry, so let me just back out of that conversation. <laughs> hmm. I mean, some other flavors that I would probably try is the peanut butter and jelly soda, because that doesn't sound half bad, though I don't like peanut butter and jelly together, because I'm picky like that. But, hmm. What else? Like, uh... <laughs> buffalo soda. Buffalo wing soda. I wouldn't- when I don't like spicy things. I don't like buffalo wings. I like wings, but not buffalo wings. So that's- that's a pass for me. Uh, creamed corn soda. No, I like corn. I like corn with butter. I- I don't like corn as a soda. It just doesn't sound appealing or even interesting to try to me. It, it just sounds like- it, Like sweet corn. And it's not something that I would like. But well, what other flavor was there that I was interested in? Uh, up, up, uh, I can't remember any right now. I'll remember some in a few, though. Maybe I just have, like... <laughs> I... Okay. I can't say I don't like buffalo wings, because I've never had them. But I know that buffalo sauce is spicy. So, I've, it's never been something that I was like, hey, I want this tonight. I do like chicken, chicken legs are my favorite, or chicken thigh, I don't know what it's called. I haven't had chicken, like, from KFC or anything in a while, a long while. Alright, you, you, you enjoy breakfast. I didn't, I didn't actually have breakfast this morning. I ate some food and then went back to sleep because I was up all night. What did I have? I had like a cheese stick or something. Mmm, food ways. Mmm. After, I'm gonna get a coffee, iced vanilla coffee, and heat up some of the Chinese food that I had a couple days ago. Mmm, best damn Chinese food I've ever had. <laughs> I okay. But to be fair, I stayed up till like 5 a.m. and I was tired as hell. And my mom was like, hey yo, time to wake up, here's breakfast. And I'm like, no it's not, it's time to go to bed. I'm out, peace. Ate cheese stick, went back to bed, woke up at, what, one? And then played competitive for like, how long? Five hours? But it got to the point where I was like, I've had enough. I'm tired of being kicked because I'm not useful to the, the group anymore. And I decided to play, uh, I joined some random group called Free E-Girl. Because I don't know, it sounded stupid. It, it was a nice group. People were nice in there. Stayed in there for uh, two games. They were doing quick play, not competitive. <laughs> oh yeah. All about that life. Overwatch groups, I swear, have like the weirdest names that you would never expect. Some of them are normal. German, competitive, plat, uh, gold, silver, mics required. 
And then some of them, like, one of them I saw today was, uh, LGBTQ weird. And I was like, why are there so many people joining this? <laughs> I was like, I don't get it. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Sure. Hi to Brazil. Hmm. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what other weird Overwatch groups I, uh, I heard of today. Nothing, like, majorly weird. Most of them were normal, surprisingly. At least today when I checked. I haven't checked in the, the past hour because I've been here, but... There are some weird groups out there. I have taken screenshots of some of the weird games that I've seen. Well, like, sometimes they're just like... Oh, this show is better than this show. Sometimes they're like, oh, girls only. Sometimes they're like, finding a boyfriend for... Kylie. I don't know, I was trying to come up with a random female name. And then, you know, basic fighting groups. And then you, like, one of them was, uh, sometimes I see debate. Like, debate groups in Overwatch, and I always thought that was a weird thing, like... You go in Overwatch to play, you know, meet new people, but I've never expected people to want to debate. I mean, it, I could see the point in that, but I don't know. I've never joined one, so I, I can't, like, say I don't like them. I just thought that the concept of them existing was weird. Oh, well, I can say that the custom games in Overwatch are probably weirder than the groups. So the custom games are always like, hit to date. And I'm like, who, who originally came up with the idea to hit to date? Like, who is like, you know what? I'm gonna go to Overwatch today, and if a girl hits me, I'm gonna date them. Or no, we have to date. Uh, hit to date, be your gender. What if you're Bastion? I mean, <laughs> Bastion's, like, everyone refers to him as a guy, but it's a robot. I mean, I don't know if a robot can have a gender, like, <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't understand hit to dates. I, I just joined one once for shits and giggles, and I realized that, like, do people actually take those seriously? Like, if a Mercy runs up to you and hits you, it's like, oh, yeah, okay, what's your name? We're, we're dating now. Or is it just, like, a joke? I, I'd like to Okay. <laughs> I'd like to assume it's a joke, but you never know. I mean, everyone sees Bastion as a guy because... I don't know, Bastion is a male-sounding name, I guess. But Bastion doesn't even say anything. He just beeps and, and tweets and, like... I, you can't tell if that's a guy or a girl by the voice because it's a beep. <laughs> if something says beep, how do, how do you... <laughs> Is my smoke detector a guy because it says beep? We you know that Arisa at least was built to present female because Arisa, feminine voice, was supposed to be a guardian for a little girl. <laughs> I can't- I can't agree with that because you have some really- like, I went against a really annoying Bastion today who just wouldn't shut up with the I don't know what that voice line is called, but he just kept doing that over and over and over and over with his gold gun trying to kill us all, but we still won. He didn't win. He was just doing that stupid voice line. I don't understand why, like, I understand people who voice lines from are doing it to, like, get a, get a, uh, Rile up the enemy team, I guess. Like, you know, shut up. We're tired of hearing you say that or whatever. But who was the first one to voice line spam? I, I know that like it was a joke and everything with Doomfist. You know, uh, what well, what was his? Uh, and they say because it's it's a, it's a joke. But like, who who came up with like the most like annoying like spam annoying bashing lines or like spam annoying uh, tracer lines or whatever? I, 
Hmm. I don't know, like... I've never met, like, I at least haven't encountered a large amount of them. Just, like, two or three. Only one today. Very lucky for me. But I have, like, I joined one group that, like, all of us had the uh, rainbow flag. And I was like, whoa, that's new. And, like, it wasn't even a group thing. Like, hey, let's all, let's all, let's all change our profile pictures to the rainbow. It was just a coincidence. But, oh my god, those girls were annoying. I am very glad that they kicked me from the group because they, they the way they talked, it, they talked like nine-year-old white girls in a mall movie about shopping at Victoria's Secret, and it was terrible. I couldn't stand it. It was so annoying. They didn't even play that good. They were playing heroes that didn't go against the enemy team. They were just feeding, and they were like, oh, healers are bad. They're not healing me. They're like, we can't heal you because we're dying. <laughs> cause, cause we died because your DPS ain't doing shit. Like the the last competitive group that I joined was a um, eh, they were okay, not 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 the best, but the DPS. I was playing Reinhardt because I didn't want to tank my support anymore. I was like, hey, if I'm gonna try to run a group with a bunch of random people I don't know, I'm just gonna tank my tank. So I was playing Reinhardt. And I had gold damage. Gold damage on Reinhardt was, what, 12,000? And we had a, a Echo and a Soldier, and I'm like... And everyone's like, hey, who has gold damage? And I'm like, your Ryan has gold damage, what are you doing? But he only got gold damage at the very end, because I was playing Roadhog, and I had to stay on cart because it was overtime. Hi. I should have kept gold damage so at the end I could be like, you DPS were terrible. Your Ryan had gold damage the entire game. Get good. But I didn't. I was fine losing gold. I didn't want gold anyways. It wasn't something I was striving to achieve. It was just something I was like, why do I have gold? Guys, guys, why do I have gold? Ooh, a song. I like this. Uh, that's enough about Overwatch. I've had enough competitive for today. Uh, the amount of people that I ran into is enough social interaction for me for the next 20 years. <laughs> I just wanted to get my uh, tank out of... Uh, or not my tank, my support out of Sylvie, but it's fine. I'm, I climbed to 1927, it's not that bad. No, I, I hope that this Halloween, well, what is it, July, next holiday is probably Halloween, right? Yeah, summer, July, or summer, October, yeah, Halloween's next. I miss, um, oh, it's called Shadow. Mm, I'm blanking. Ah, oh, man. I'm, I was so passionate about this the other, like, last Halloween, and now I can't remember the name of it. What is it called? Shadow. Shadowfall. Shadowfall. I'm sorry for blinking. How is it? Shadowfall. I miss Shadowfall. I want it to come back this year. The last event was fun and all, but I, I miss Shadowfall. How about, how about I, I just bet my lashes? Is this, is this cute? <laughs> no, 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 Shadowfall is, uh, isn't a game. I'm not talking about the game. I'm talking about the uh, Apex Legends Halloween event from 2020, 2019. 
I'm sure that Shadowfall is its own game, though. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I, I'm not like shocked if that had its own thing. I, I believe that it does. But. Oh my god, this. Oh my god, stop fighting. <laughs> yeah, they sh have they changed it this year? Uh, or last year. They changed it so... Oh, you could revive teammates. Uh... What else did they change? Uh... Reviving teammates. I think they turned down the speed as well. And you don't spawn with a gold knockdown anymore. I don't remember what else they changed. It's been a while. Oh, I think no, they still have double jump, don't they? I can't remember. Oh, this, this is my favorite Apex event of all all times. Yeah, fun, fun, fun. That's all I have to say. Fun. It wasn't like, well, like cooking annoying. Hmm. Yeah, weird. <laughs> oh, I might. I don't know. This is my uh, one drive. Taylor. I do have some really old clips in here from like. Early days. But other than that. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Ooh, you know what? Nah, I won't, I won't, I won't. Hmm, what else? Oh! Uh, one thing that I really hate is uh, how freaking hot it gets in the attic. I don't know why I chose up here to set up everything, but <sighs> hate it. Oh, some guy I was streaming with last or playing Overwatch with last night is a. Uh, is he playing Overwatch? He's playing Overwatch with a different group. That's kind of, it's kind of traitor. Traitor? I, I, I don't know <laughs> what to say about it. What, what, what did he play? I'm. I think he was like on DPS or something. I can't remember. I never friended him on Xbox then. I completely forgot that I had to do a Twitch for Twitch thing. What? What? Bro, what? Bro, Seth. What do you- what do you mean, scared Serana? Like, did she jump or like... Did she attack you because she was so scared? Because that'd be funny. <laughs> They're just celebrating. Uh, Declaration of Independence. I don't know. I filled history. Uh. 
I had, when I had a dog, um, the dog uh, was a uh, rescue. So she had some, you know, like issues with loud noises, like trauma or whatever. So 4th of July was a nightmare for her. She always hid under the bed shaking, and I felt so bad because, like, there wasn't anything you could do. You can't give headphones to a dog. Like, she just, you just had to let her cower under the bed until the fireworks stopped. I'm glad that Yuki isn't scared of the uh, fireworks, though. I don't know what he'd do. Though, he was being a bit jumpy about the- uh, We're having a kitchen redone right now, so a lot of, like, drilling, hammering and stuff. He was iffy for the first few days. He's like, ah, oh, strange guy in the house. Ah, oh, loud noises. But he, he didn't, like, go nuts. Though he did get, was it yesterday? I think he got spooked yesterday. Cause he had bubble wrap. <laughs> oh, the best kind of cat scare. Jumping and hissing. I know. I, I've never heard Yuki hiss before, but my mom has. But I don't believe her. I, I swear, he doesn't know how to hiss. Cat's hissing is actually like a little bit scary. Not gonna lie, like it's this sweet little fluff ball just like snarling its teeth and going, I don't want to make the noise, but like it's like Did that come from you? Cats are just shitty fluff balls. Well, not all cats. I'm sure some cats are, uh, sweethearts. I still can't see my fly- if there's fireworks going on outside, but, yeah. Fireworks are, uh, Oh, why are you- you don't like, uh, fireworks or loud noises? I'm not afraid of thunder or anything, but like when it strikes outside my house, it's like, woo, that was so close, oh my god. That's a phrasing I haven't heard before. Teeth on edge. <sighs> Yawn. <laughs> wow, I'm gonna swing back your salad. Hmm. I think fireworks are pretty in their own way. Uh. Yeah, that, that's fair. That, that's no, no, uh, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Hmm. Oh, in other news. I'm pretty- I'm getting closer to affiliate, which I'm excited about. You know, I got it, uh... How much now? 34 followers. And, uh... What is it? Affiliate requires 50? So, I'm not that far off. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it probably has something to do with, uh the mechanics behind it.
Hey, wait, affiliates get paid? No one told me affiliates got paid. I get a dollar per viewer? One cent per hour per viewer, or one dollar per hour per viewer. That's crazy. I don't know. It's probably just because it's a mini explosion, you know? I'm not an affiliate yet, bro. You need at least 50 followers, and over the last 30 days, at least 500 total minutes broadcast, seven unique broadcast days, and an average of three or more concurrent viewers. Qualified streamers will be notified via email. <laughs> hey, yo, no, don't hit me with your dollar, bro, please. Spare me. You know what the most frightening thing in the world is? It's fear. Hello. You know what? I might get that as an emote. I mean, I don't have to really worry about that since I'm not an affiliate yet, but uh. Now, now you gotta expect a, a dollar slapping emote. Yes, no, and I'm gonna like, do it anyways. I don't need permission. <laughs> but that's what you really want in life a dollar slapping emote. We had a lot of curse words, whoa. Hey, okay. Let me find my folder. I'll, I'll do it, I'll do it. Yeah. And those are, uh, that's not it. Let's see if I can find it. I'm not sure if I 100% have it. Uh, hmm. I might have to go download it real quick. But I'm definitely, I'm definitely gonna get like another set of emotes done sooner or later. Probably when I hit what 40 viewers, let's say, or 40 subscribers, 40 followers. I don't know. Right there. But I, I definitely know who I want to get them um, done from because I have a friend who got his done from uh, the same person. I just I, I don't have a um what do you call like a list of what I want yet because I haven't like thought deep and hard about it deep deep and, and I haven't thought much about it. Okay, so do dollar slapping will definitely on the list. But other than that, uh, let's see. Need emotes. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah, these. It's it's really it's really shitty. I know, cause I'm not, these are the ones that I have already. 
Oh, sneak sneak peek. Wow. Shocking. Not my favorite, but... You know what? You know, I'll make a list right now. Okay, dollar slapping. I love this call. Yeah, I'll just call it dollar. Bro. Can't. Oh, oh, okay. I do have a lot on my list. But only because, like. I like, I want like profile pictures and banners and you know, more stuff for merch. Oh my god, shameless self merch promotion. Wow. Oh no, it's scary. <laughs> I'm not creative. Like, coming up with ideas for me is, is, it eludes me because I never, I can, my, my brain's too small to come up with, uh, actual good ideas. Yes, shameless merch plug, oh no. Oh my god, you guys, I have merch, wow. <laughs> hey, at least I called myself out, okay? I actually did uh, get a game that if maybe next stream I'll play. I don't know if I'm gonna play something this stream. This might just be chatting, but it's a uh, uh, what is it called? Uh, Moon something. I'm blinking already. Wow! I just bought it like five minutes ago, and I already forget what it's called. Hey, uh, oh, moon crash. Ayo, okay. See, here, here's what I was considering, right? I was like, you know, I could open up my own site because I'd be able to sell more things that I want rather than like running it through somebody else and them only having like t-shirts or like only having bags or like posters and stuff. I could run it through my own website and put whatever I want on it. But then I realized that I think that'd be more expensive in the long run for me, cause you wouldn't have to. I was looking into it. You would just like, oh, somebody bought this shirt, then you have to go like your, your what do you call it, supplier, and be like, okay, one shirt, depending on like how many people order it, rather than having like a hundred shirts, hundred shirts sitting around your house somewhere waiting for somebody to buy it. Yeah, uh, what is it called? Supply something something about it, but. Yeah, it'd be more expensive and longing, but I wouldn't have anything to do with the shipping and whatever. I just have to pay for it. But I have to find like you know people that do it like for relatively good prices and do it relatively well. And like depending on what I want, like you know different people, like one person for stickers, one person for shirts, or, like da -da 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 -da. I don't know. That's that. That would be a future plan for me. But like you know, since I'm not like actually a clothing brand, like. I don't know. I know that like tons of people do that for like you know clothing brands, but just for merch, I, I, I don't know. I, it's something I'm thinking about though. Cause like um, honestly, it's only for one reason. Cause I really want to do a um, what's it called? Standies, I think that's what they're called. Uh, I don't know what what else it could be called. Hang on, I'll, let me, let me. I think that's what it's called. Maybe? No, that's not what it is. Oh, a little, little tiny brain, I forget everything. What is it? Uh, Yeah, no, it's called a standy. Oh. Yeah, no, no, that's good. Go, go, go. 
<laughs> you good, you good. I don't know why you put baby with like weird evil SMEs. What's vinyl? Isn't that a type of plastic? I don't know. I'm tiny green. I'm blinking. Ayo, love you too. I, I just did! And some I don't want to hear you. Ugh. I know. Wouldn't it be funny as hell if I sold card book, cardboard cutouts like, Ayo, buy me for your house! <laughs> Bye. I think that would be funny. Something to totally consider. I'm sure tons of people would want to stare at me while they're going to bed. And not in a weird way. Probably in a weird way. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going on a tangent. Uh, self sabotage. Oh yeah, that's something I'm looking into. Like my own, my own uh, website link, whatever. I was considering making like something else other than a card, like a. Uh... It wouldn't be a site for selling things. It'd be more of a site for like questions, like information, whatever, pictures, references, blah. I don't know. Just plans and thoughts. Heck, it's that thing. Hmm. I don't know. Something definitely considered. Hmm. Oh my god, I could totally sell uh, skateboards. Wow. Who wouldn't want a skateboard? I don't know. <laughs> oh no, I understand anything. Hmm. I mean, that uh, that that uh. What? Mm. No, I'm sorry. You know what? I'll continue on for another one. What, 10 minutes maybe? And then I think I'm gonna head out for tonight. And go make coffee, because I'm having really bad cravings, and it's not okay. Plus, mm, Chinese food. Mm. One uh, thing that my friend sent me, uh, a giant two hundred dollar plush toy. Like I that that, yeah. I'm I'm gonna steal that idea. That's mine now. I don't know what idea, but hey, you know what? I can come up with ideas too because I'm big brain like that. And I didn't just say I was tiny brain because I'm actually really big brain. Hot up here. I didn't realize how hot it would get. I well, no, I did. But that's okay. What 
Uh, oh my god, no, that's probably already been done. <laughs> Anyways, you know, I'm curious about what these things are talking about. I can pop back in on them. Yeah, I was either one. You haven't finished it yet? That's not a thing over there. What is the... What is the, uh, Australian... Is there an Australian equivalent where you guys do a bunch of fireworks? What day is it? I guess where fireworks just get louder, like just the longer. Dog. My god, the dog keeps spawning on me, dude. Fuck. But. What? Oh, you're playing Metal Gear. That is a good chunk of this game.
what I want. You would be perfect. This, <laughs> these goggles look so dumb. <laughs> look at them. Tabs, I don't need to. It does sound like a war zone. How am I gonna get these prisoners out of here? I've never played Metal Gear Solid. To indoctrinate them into my army. He kidnaps no. people to make them work for him. God, my the dog, my stupid fucking dog is gonna give away my goddamn position. Cause he's just. He's just standing there. He's not. Why'd you take him. the dog if you don't like the dog? I didn't know I wouldn't like the dog. I didn't know. I thought he was gonna be fine. I thought I, when I told him to stay, he would stay, but he doesn't stay. Ice coffee time. Ayo, if you stay this long, I appreciate you. Thank you for being here with me. I hope you all have a good night. Thank you for watching. Um, appreciate it.